If your weight loss has slowed down to nothing, this is the video for you because we are going to be talking about how to break a stall on keto. And if you're new here, which you probably aren't because you follow us on our other channel, my name's Emily and this is my twin sister Sarah and we have lost over 160 pounds following a ketogenic lifestyle since January of 2019. So it's been a minute. Sarah and I have done keto off and on for the past 20 years and we know how to break a stall at this point. So if you are really trying your best but you still aren't getting there, this is the video for you. The first strategy is to actually look at what you're eating and decide if all of these things that you're indulging on on keto are actually stalling you. We love Mission Low Carb Tortillas. We used to use them for pretty much everything. everything. Yeah. And we realized at a certain point that you know, if our weight loss slowed down, that cutting out things like that could be beneficial. So things like Mission Low Carb Tortillas, Rebel Ice Cream, you know, a lot of these things, they might not have a lot of carbs in them, but they certainly have a lot of fat and calories. Exactly. That's one of the things with keto is that there are people that even comment now that calories don't matter. Well, I beg to differ, honestly, because I know that if I eat heavy whipping cream in my coffee and eat fat bombs that I am not going to lose weight. I think that in the beginning, calories don't matter as much. You have to readjust what you're eating. If you're doing anything and thinking that it doesn't count unless it's celery or something, then those are the things that you have to look at and say, okay, well, I'm eating low carb tortillas every day and I'm no longer losing. It's time to cut them back and see if I start losing. And that's how you're gonna know, unfortunately. It's like, take everything away. Take everything that makes me happy away. No kidding. I used to say that like when people were starting to say this thing, I don't know if it's true or not. They were saying the coffee spikes your yeah. blood sugar. It's like, just take everything away from me. I refuse. I refuse to stop drinking coffee. No, that's where I draw the line, mm -hmm. okay? That's all I have. <laughs> that's all I have left. Away from us. <laughs> it can raise my blood sugar a little bit. I will still live with that. We would also like to point out that a stall or a plateau is a long time without losing weight. Like, not days. Not days. <laughs> not hours. Not even weeks, really. I mean, do you think weeks is a stall? I don't think so. No. Probably if you haven't lost weight in a month, that would be a stall. Six weeks could be a stall. But we have had people in our Keto Facebook group, Keto with the Keto Twins, say that they haven't lost weight in 48 hours and they are stalled. I'm sorry to tell you, but that's not a stall. That is your body just adjusting keeping yourself alive let's just put it that way like you are not going to lose weight every day you might not lose weight every week now a month okay that's a stall that we just need to define that because people have unrealistic expectations i know that you're giving up a lot or you feel like you're sacrificing a lot to start keto i know time goes slower because you know you're really focused on this diet so you need to see progress every single day but like just because you are not losing weight after two days, three days, that is not a stall. That does not a stall make. So the next thing that you can do if you're not doing this already is start intermittent fasting. That's basically you just having an eating window throughout the day where you can eat one or two meals. Some people do 16, eight, other people do one meal a day. Sarah and I talk about this a lot. We typically eat one very large meal a day. Sometimes we eat two meals a day, but it's very easy to go over how much you actually need to live and mm -hmm. thrive if you're eating three meals a day plus two snacks. It's like, I don't know how to compute what how big your portions are. I'm not going to be measuring anything ever. If I have to eat less or squish it and so that I'm eating one giant meal a day, I'm going to do that because it's just easier for me. I think that snacking really just adds up over time. You know, a handful of nuts here, then it turns, oh, why not just another handful? And then you're like, that's 150 calories without even thinking about it. There were fat bombs that I was eating that are this big and they're like 80 calories. Yeah. They're delicious, they but add you up. know, it does add up very quickly. In our opinion, and we're not medical professionals, insert disclaimer here, there's a point where you have to cut back. That could be on the dirty stuff, like we said before, like low carb tortillas, stuff like that. It could be in drinking your calories yeah. away. And these are all things that you could just take a little bit from here and there and see if the scale starts moving again. So the next one, we're gonna talk about it, but we can't give you much advice. You could exercise. I got a C in gym in high school. Exercise is not our forte. We have done some exercise videos on our channel before. The Chloe Ting two week shred. We did another one. Oh, the jump rope challenge. I am so happy that those videos bombed. I'm so <laughs> happy that we did not get any views on those videos. Why know why? Because 
you know, Sarah and I, we were desperate for views. We were willing to do almost everything. No, I mean, we, you know, I think it is important to try to exercise. Well, I'm just saying, okay, just being honest, I'm happy that those videos didn't do well. First of all, they were a lot of work. Secondly, they had to do with exercise. So if like- it They were a lot of work to film, she oh, means. Yeah. Not the, the exercise was a lot of work. That, the exercise was a lot of work. The exercise so was we're tired work. from that, but also we have to film it, all the exercises. Then and there was then just the general edit. embarrassment of not being coordinated. Yeah. Watching like the cuts back of just us flailing. It's really wind. just uh, brings you down to a level of which you <laughs> didn't know that there was. And so I'm so happy that none of you watched those videos. We're not gonna link them. You can never see them. But yeah, you could probably exercise and we know it's good for you. And we know that it can jumpstart weight loss. However, I will put this caveat in there. I do not believe that you can exercise a bad away diet. a bad diet. Yeah. I remember one person that I know, they were like saying that they exercise the amount of calories that they eat. Like if they have a donut and it's 200 calories, then they will run on a treadmill to try to burn that off. No donut is worth that <laughs> to me, but... Well, there is importance in exercising know. for mobility yes, and stuff like absolutely. that. And we hope to keep doing that in the future. Keep doing it. You well, mean start I go doing on it. walks and stuff. Walking, though. I mean, walking is walking. So we're really the worst. Hey, at least we're honest about it, though. Exercise is the third point. So the fourth point that we're going to bring up is the fact that maybe you should just wait. And I know that sounds terrible because you're sacrificing so much to be keto and you're missing out on everything that you want to eat. But there is a chance that you are losing, you are just not showing it, right? Sarah and I always say that you should definitely be taking measurements of like every part of your body when you start keto. And you should be doing that like maybe every once a month mm -hmm. or so. Keep a log of your measurements because it, there's a chance that even though the scale might not be showing it, you are losing inches somewhere. Yeah. And that is a really important part of it. You might not show it on a scale, but the scale, I hate to say that th this whole scale thing, but like th the scale does not show your true progress. And sometimes you will be losing inches, but you will not show it on the scale. So just waiting and seeing and then adjusting can be really beneficial to your weight loss journey because you don't even know. Just because you lose weight doesn't mean that you're going to continue to lose weight, right? Your body, doesn't want to lose too much at a time. So there might be times where you don't lose anything for weeks right. and then all of a sudden you will wake up one day and you will pee five times in the middle of the night and you will have a whoosh where you just let go of all this water weight and you don't, you didn't do anything wrong. Some people even find that like cheating, although we don't, I don't advocate for it, especially in the beginning because it can send you off the deep end. Some people report that having a super big meal, carb filled meal, cheat meal can trigger yeah. and confuse your body enough that it will shed a lot of the water weight that you're holding. So you have a fat cell, theoretically, and this fat cell is filled with fat. And so at some point, your body needs to use this fat for energy because you're in ketosis. And so it takes and uses the fat from the fat cell. And so now the shell of the fat cell is empty. So what does it do? Your body puts water in that fat cell because it says, oh, well, you're probably going to gain it back anyway. <laughs> no, <laughs> like that it says we should keep it available right. because, you know, for easy storage, you always didn't have access to food. So it would be like, we have to keep this for later. Right. You had like a camel with the hump of water right. or something. That's where their fat cells store their water for them. That right. huge lump is not just like water. Yeah. It is fatty cells that are holding the water, right? So eventually your body releases it and then you have a whoosh where you have to go in the bathroom, like she said, in the middle of the night. And then you've lost like three pounds overnight somehow. It's the water weight finally releasing from your body. So yeah, just waiting sometimes and letting your body catch up is a good strategy. And honestly, I was going to say is that what other choice do you have but waiting? <laughs> you because could. if you go off, you're going to gain all the weight back and more. And you can be like us, you know, where we've lost 60 pounds, gained 80 over and over again. So the other option of you not waiting is cheating and going off and then you're gonna be back where you started. So you need to wait. <laughs> and honestly, I feel like when we were doing a lot of weight loss journey things in the beginning of our channel, it was very hard to show a loss every week. So the point where we're like, let's take measurements because maybe right. the measurements would show something. And it did. We saw that we would lose an inch on our butt or an inch in our thigh and that's showing a loss. If you're doing content like weight loss, it is very hard to have a scale victory every week. So adding in things like a 
taking a picture or adding a measurement, you're gonna be able to see and record losses other than the scale. Right. And I think that's really important. And like we say all the time, take pictures because you're gonna be able to see the difference right away. I didn't know that I lost all the weight until I saw pictures of myself, of me not even taking the picture, other people's pictures of me where I'm like, oh, I look different from that angle. I didn't know. Sometimes you don't see it in the mirror and sometimes the scale doesn't accurately depict the weight that you've lost. So we hope that you guys got some new ideas for your stalls or plateaus, but at the end of the day, you're gonna have to stay keto. <laughs> It's working. You might have a day or a week or a month where you're not losing. Try to implement some of the strategies that we gave you guys in this video and let us know what works for you. And if you guys have any other tips, leave us a comment. We would love to hear it. I'm sure other people would like to read those comments as well. If you guys wanna see other videos by us, you can click on one of the videos on the screen and we'll see you over there. Anyway, I'm Sarah. And I'm Emily. And, and we, we are the Keto, Keto Twins, signing out. out.